hello guys and welcome to another tutorial video on our sage cloud accounting series in today's tutorial video we're going to focus on how to create a quotation for a customer on cloud accounting we're going to use the availing tutorial question which says on the 6th of february Mr. Naidu inquired about kettles. Make out a quotation for 16 kettles. The message should read, quotation is valid for a period of 14 days from the date of the quotation. And then point number three, it says that the person or Mr. Naidu ordered all items on the quotation so from bullet number three we're going to create a sales order from this particular quotation and on number four we're going to create an invoice from this particular sales order and then we lastly going to process the payment in the cash book that the customer made on the 8th of february so in this video we just going to focus on the second the first and the second point which is the quotation and the next video we're going to focus on the sales order and until we get to processing the payment so now let's go and process the quotation so to create the quotation you can either go to customers and you can go through transactions customer codes and click right there at a code or alternatively you can go to your workspace when you get to your workspace you can click on create a code widget then when you get here you need to select the relevant customer which will be Mr. Naidu and remember the person is inquiring about uh, sixteen kettles so we're going to select kettles and you can see that it fills up and then we're going to go to the quantity we're going to change that to 16 so after changing that to 16 we were told that we need to insert the, the message that says quotation is valid for a period of 14 days from the date of the quotation so what you're going to do you're going to insert the message the quotation is valid for a period of 14 days from date of the quotation so there we have it so another thing you can see that you have the date so we need to change the date to the 6th of February so it's going to be the 6th instead of the 7th then you need to come up with the expiry date so you can count 14 days from the 6th which will be about uh, the 20th of February So on the 20th of February, this particular quotation will expire. So when you are done, 
you can either print preview or you can email the quotation or if you don't want to do any of those you can click on save thanks for watching a like would be appreciated and don't forget to subscribe